Hey, what is going on pros and pros? This is Mr. Lyman HD here and welcome to another drinks review. Today we are reviewing a rifle and it's be on the, I believe, original full sugar version. So I've got this particular drink out of Pounds Jersey and it cost me price marked 90p, which is actually a very cheap price for a 250ml can of any drink, seeing as the Euro shoppers are 35p. And before you ask, yes, it is still in day. In fact, it goes out of day in 2019 and I'm recording this in 2018. So 19p? Don't cheap. <laughs> so I'll give you guys a full 360 of the can. So we have a fairly cool looking can design to be honest with you. We have lots of these shapes, which are different shades of blue, and they kind of all put together in a mashup kind of way, and it overall just kind of makes the can look fairly cool. And of course we have the rifle logo and stuff on the front. On the bottom we have nothing, and on the top everything is all standard and silver, including the pull ring. Uh, so looking at the front of the can again, I've seen this on Bulldog and other energy drink uh, cans, but it's got this, the Queen's Award for Enterprise International Trade. I have no idea what it means, and I see them on these random cans, and it doesn't mean anything, but I have no idea. And it is vegetarian, and it is halal, which doesn't make sense because it's, it's, it's a drink. Um, but anyways, sugar content is 11 grams per 100 mil. Caffeine content is 32 milligrams per 100 mil, which is that bang on the average. Uh, contains our usual and favorite vitamins, niacin, panophenic acid, vitamin B6 and B12. And apart from that, uh, let's see, it was uh, made in Europe. Uh, exports in London, Watford, premierexports.co.uk. And it seems like there is two languages, which is, I think that's Arabic and then of course English. So yes, but anyways, it's nice and cold. I have got a cup, let's get straight into it. Now I haven't got my normal cup, like my normal size cup, because the other one, broke so <laughs> i'm going to be buying some new cups so i've got this tall one this is the clearest one i've got it's got a little bit on there but apart from that this is pretty much just a taller version of my cup i normally normally use as you guys are aware so anyways what are we going to expect well most part is just going to be original taste smell and probably everything else but it could be wrong now just don't explode over me this feels actually quite pressurized um so i've got a feeling this is going to go everywhere this like the can feels really tough. This this is gonna go everywhere. I cover most of it. Cool. Ow. Look at the imprint I made on my finger. Ow, that was really tough. So we're in and it didn't explode that much, right? It's actually a pretty cool cup having a taller cup to Mozu, not gonna lie. So the colour is indeed our standard aptly type energy drink colour, as you expect, although this is maybe a tad on the lighter side. And of course it is uh, fizzy. The smell smells like original energy drink, doesn't smell as like a Euroshop or a Boost original. It, it smells a bit worse to bonus with you. <laughs> but um, for the most part, you know, it just smells a variation of an original smell which you guys are all familiar with. Just to, just taste like another middle mid-range brand. Again, nothing different, nothing unique. Although, as I always say with these originals, this one definitely is more syrupy. I do notice that it is more sugary, and uh, honestly, that tastes nothing like your shop or nothing like Boost original, nothing like that, nothing like. Um, if anything, I mean. I'd say out of the brand, it's probably closest to a Monster original, surprisingly, to be honest with you, now I think about it, because it's quite syrupy and sugary, like Monster, but, of course, it doesn't have the Monster blend in it, it just, it just reminds me, you know what I mean, the first drink, like, it doesn't remind me of, like, Relentless or Rockstar original, you know, it reminds me of Monster-ish, but, like I said, for the most part, it's just an original flavour, it's nothing different, it's just another, it's just another random original drink in a can, so, what's new, but, um, you know, nothing wrong with it. Yes, it's maybe a tad on the sweet and syrupy side for some people, and honestly, it is a bit syrupy and sweeter than you expect. Yeah. Hmm. But you know, if you like the sweeter drink and the more syrupy one, then fair enough, buy it. But I doubt you'll find this anywhere else because it's in pound stature. But um, don't give it a thumbs up or in the middle. I don't know because it's not disgusting, but it's not. Nice because of the overshoot. Yeah, I'll give it in the middle. I'll give it in the middle. 
a bit over the top on sugar and syrup and obviously it isn't nasty it's just kind of you know as you'd expect kind of ish middle range normal brand as you guys know so as always thanks for watching and i'll see you all later